A eutectic system, or also known as two completely miscible solids, is a mixture of two or more components that melts or solidifies at a temperature that is lower than melting point of any of the components. So here we have the eutectic phase diagram that describes the behavior of the alloys or two components of which are completely soluble in liquid state and entirely insoluble in solid state. So let's take a look at the eutectic phase diagram here. At x axis, we have the concentration of A and B. And at y axis, we have the temperature on both sides. Okay. And here we have the melting point for component A. Here we have the melting point for component B. And here we have the liquid region. We have the liquid region, liquid plus component B. We have the liquid plus component A. And this one is the crystal form of component A and B. So this one is the uh, boundary that separate the two components. Okay. So let's take a look at C here. When uh, consider the solidification of an alloy at concentration C. So when the T is higher than TL. So we draw a straight line here. Okay, when the temperature is higher than TL, a single liquid phase exists. So we symbolize here as M. Okay, this one is the single liquid phase exists. And then it goes down here. When the T reach the value of TL at this point, we symbolize as M1, solidification starts. In this case, the formation of primary crystal or a solid, in this case, are the crystal of compound A. So when it goes down again, when the T reach at this temperature, symbolized as T, at point of MT and this point also, the liquid phase of composition at Cy and solid phase consisting A are in equilibrium. Okay. As the T equal to T E, so it goes down again here and reach at, at this point. This point is what we call as the eutectic point. The point where the maximum number of allowable phases are in equilibrium. So it reach here at the T E, which is the eutectic temperature. The formation of component A or crystal A stops. And the remaining liquid phase having composition C E, eutectic composition, transform to a mixture of small a and b in a solid crystal. So here we have the uh, crystal of component a and b. An example here when we have tin and lead to form an eutectic mixture at 183 degrees C with the eutectic composition of 62% of tin and 80% percent of lead. So the melting point of tin and lead are 232 degrees C and 327 degrees C respectively. So sketch a, an eutectic diagram for the mixture of tin and lead and label the excess, the melting temperatures, the eutectic point and also all the faces present. So let's how to draw the eutectic diagram for tin and lead. First, we have to draw the axis. On the x-axis, we have the composition of component A and B, or we call as tin and lead. So here we have the 100% of tin and 0% of lead. On your left-hand side, we have the 0% of tin and 100% of lead. On the y-axis, we have the temperature on both sides. So first, we have to draw the point at which the two components solidify. So this one is the temperature, 183 degrees C. And then we also need to draw the melting point for the lead. Here we have the 327 degrees C. And the melting point for tin, we have here 232 degrees C. So at this, uh, we also need to label the region. Here we have the liquid region. We have the liquid plus tin. We have the liquid plus lead and we have the solid uh, lead and solid tin. Okay, at this point, we have the composition of both components, which uh, consists of 62% of tin and 38% of lead. So we label at this point as the eutectic point.